Hello, my name is Paul and welcome to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video, I want to give you a bit of an idea of how I'm currently using pipe drive to improve client or customer success. So if you are in a, an account management type role where you're really focusing on that journey of the customer after the sale, I think this video should give you some ideas on maybe how pipe drive can help you with that. If you have any questions at the end of this video, please leave me a comment below and have a look at the details in the description. If you do want one-on-one -on -one help with Pipedrive, look at the details in the description to learn about my new Pipedrive online course and group training program. So let's get into this video. And to just give you a little bit of context about my business and how I'm using Pipedrive here, I have come out with this year uh, online courses and coaching programs for the two tools that I consult on, which is Asana and Pipedrive. And so uh, what I'm doing with Pipedrive here is I really want to try and improve the success of my customers and see how Pipedrive can be used to, to improve client success. Because typically, I, and I think this is true of a lot of users, have considered Pipedrive to be you know, a sales CRM, which is what it's mainly designed for. But I wanted to see how can I use this, how can I push Pipedrive further to actually improve the quality of my service as well. And what you'll see in this video is how I've linked it with my email marketing system, ConvertKit, to actually link and show the emails that people are receiving and show those emails as activities and so on in Pipedrive. So to start with, let me show you what I've done here just to group my customers together. So on this filter, you can see I have these labels MP and MA client. These are basically representing just the two online courses that I have for my master Asana and master Pipedrive program. So the way I use this is just when somebody signs up, they pay, I mark that deal as one, and I actually have an automation in Pipedrive using Pipedrive's automation to then apply this label to the client based on whatever course they've purchased. So what this means is I have a really simple way that I can just see all of my customers. And I have some filters up here. You can see I've got this one here, MAMP client, that's basically looking for a person with either of these two labels. And so I just have a really simple way to be able to, number one, just see my customers. That's often something we, we really need to be able to do. Now, if I wanted to, on this view, I could even select all of these people and I could send a group email. And uh, if I wanted to send an update about my course, I could actually use Pipedrive's uh, bulk email feature to do that um, and, and just simply select all those customers and send the email really nicely. Now, what I've actually done is I've tied Pipedrive with my own email marketing system, ConvertKit. So for example, when you sign up to one of my uh, programs, in this case, the Master Asana program. So the customer gets tagged with Purchase MA. It means that they've purchased the program. They get tagged and a bunch of things happen here. But what happens is I send this first email called MA Course MA Module 1. This is the first email that goes out to say, you know, thank you for joining the program. Here's how to get started, links to join my group calls, and basically just a general welcome email to my course. Before that actually goes out, what I do is I set a temporary custom field in ConvertKit, a field that I've called PD Activity. And what I do is I've put in the name of that email that they are about to receive. What then happens is I tag them with flag pipe drive activity. So I filled out that field with the name of the email and I've tagged them. And what, then I, what I've then set up to happen is in Zapier, which is the automation tool that I use to link ConvertKit with Pipedrive, I have an automation that's triggered when somebody has that tag added. First thing it does is it removes that tag because I might want to use that tag again when they add, uh, when they join a separate email. So I remove the tag. Um, Zapier then looks for the person in Pipedrive and it creates an activity. And what it's doing here is it's creating an activity saying this person was added to a sequence and it puts in the name of the sequence. And that's where that field, PD activity, that's where that field gets used. So the email that they were about to receive, that gets logged as an activity in here. The activity is marked as complete and uh, it's set as added to sequence. So the reason I've done that is so that when I'm looking in Pipedrive at my timeline, if I go to the contact timeline for my customers, if I toggle all these activities off, I could look at all my added to sequence activities here, and I can see the different emails that have gone out at different times for each customer. I can just double check that they are receiving the right emails. And it's really just about, I want to be able to log the history in Pipedrive and see that people have received different emails uh, at the right time. And just, I wanted to tie my email marketing system to Pipedrive and using Zapier is how I've done that. Now, another way that I use ConvertKit and Zapier is I actually have 
ConvertKit automatically send an email for people to join, join my group coaching sessions if they haven't attended one after a certain period of time after signing up. So the way that works is when somebody joins one of my group training sessions, I can log an activity in here and I can log the uh, attended group call activity on that person. Number one, that's really useful to me. If I ever want to just go back and see who's attended my group sessions, who hasn't, I've got all that attendance logged in Pipedrive and Pipedrive really is my kind of database, my point of truth where I'm just basically recording all of my interaction with, with customers. But then I have an automation set up in Zapier so that when they have that activity added in Pipedrive, it actually tags them in ConvertKit. It tags them with a attended group call tag. So then what that means, uh, what that allows me to do is I have an automation here that's triggered whenever you purchase one of my two programs. There's a 10 day delay to give you a chance to join a call. And if you don't have that tag flag attended group call, if you don't have this tag and you won't have it if I haven't logged it in Pipedrive, that means you will get a reminder, uh, this one here, hey, you signed up to my program recently, you haven't attended a call, this is where you can join. And so it's a really nice way that I've been able to automate the follow-up and kind of personalize the onboarding experience based on what I've been tracking in Pipedrive. And all of this comes together really nicely in this contact timeline. So I can look at all of the interactions with my customers, I can see when have I talked to people, who's attended group sessions, um, when are people's renewals coming up, I can see those here. And so the contact timeline in Pipedrive just makes it really visual um, and, and helps me to prioritize which customers should I be following up with. And so I guess really to sum up what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to log as much activity in Pipedrive as I can as I'm engaging with different clients so that I can see number one, just I can look at the, each person's history, but number two, it really helps me to make sure that I'm delivering a good service and following up with the right customers at the right time. So hopefully this video has been useful today. Hopefully, hopefully it's given you some ideas of how you can extend Pipedrive beyond just being a sales tool to actually improve your the delivery of your service and track customer or client success as well. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next lesson.